It's Dollar Tree Challenge time, and I am making gravy train tacos. I'm just kidding. That's not even funny at all. I'm going to Dollar Tree with Mauricio. And I'm pretty sure he's asleep right now, which is unfortunate because he's driving. Reese is not terribly excited about going to Dollar Tree, but he's going because he's a supportive husband and he loves me, right? I was forced. Do you want to put out a plea for help? I didn't want to go. You made me go. This is not a true story. Yes, it is. He volunteered. I, need help. I, need help. I was tagged by Budget Girl to create a meal using only Dollar Tree items. Budget Girl is so awesome that she tagged me. I'm a little nervous about this challenge though because I don't normally shop for food at the Dollar Tree so I had to look up online to see what stores actually had refrigerated food at Dollar Tree. No idea what kind of stuff they sell so I'm gonna have to come up with a recipe on the fly and so we are off to do that so i will show you once we get there if you are new to my channel make sure you click that red subscribe button down below and go ahead and click that bell notification icon and that way you will see every sort of video debacle that i put up because this one is probably going to be a debacle see you in a few we're here so I wandered around the Dollar Tree and I did come up with a recipe to make and I am making chicken parmesan over egg noodles. Now this isn't like my normal version. Let's call this the quick and easy version of chicken parmesan and I'm actually gonna use it for food prep this week for lunches. So Mauricio and I are having chicken parmesan this week. So what did I get? Let me show you. Okay, here is everything I got. I got some Italian cheese, olive oil, Parmesan cheese, spaghetti sauce, well, pasta sauce, chicken breast patties, egg noodles, and broccoli on the side. And the broccoli is pretty much for me because Mauricio is not a huge fan of anything green. So here is my receipt. You can see I paid a dollar for everything except the dog food was 50 cents which will go to the dog of the house bill so the total bill for this was 771 and i paid for it with my 20 dollars of blow money so in order to make this recipe a little bit more like something i would normally make on my own um, this is actually very similar to a recipe I use. I just use um, ingredients from the my grocery store. Um, with the pasta sauce, I am going to go ahead and do what I would do to regular pasta sauce. And that is actually, I will doctor it up because even when I buy jar pasta sauce at the grocery store, I doctor it up to make it kind of have a more homemade flavor it is a lot faster and it get, is already the consistency I need it to so I'm going to do that here just simply because it um it's what I would do normally and and all of the stuff I'll do that with are things that I already have at home so and would have at home so let's go ahead and get started so with these chicken breast patties you can see they're fully cooked so i'm actually not going to be heating these in the oven because i am making these for lunch for this week so i am actually going to put them in frozen into the lunches just like this because on the directions it says for the microwave oven you just heat them 55 to 60 seconds so that should be fine so first things first, I put on my water to boil and I'm going to open up my can of sauce. Now, to make the pasta sauce a little more yummy, I am going to use some leftover Merlot that we had from dinner the other night. And adding leftover wine to a pasta sauce makes it a lot richer, um, tasting more, more homemade. 
Another thing I do to pasta sauce is I take this minced garlic that I buy at Costco and I put a lot of garlic in it because we are a garlic family and if you don't have garlic life isn't as exciting. And then I put a lot of black pepper and then I also put Penzi pasta sprinkle in it. It gives it a much more Italian flavor. The can was a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. And then the last thing I do once it starts boiling, I add a dollop of cream. And the reason I do that is it cuts the acid in the pasta sauce. It doesn't, you know, it's maybe a tablespoon or so. So it doesn't really change the flavor, but it does cut a lot of the acidity down. I am making a horrible mess with this pot. Okay, I'm gonna change bowls. And once it starts to bubble, I'm gonna go ahead and take just a little taste with a clean spoon. Not too bad. I'm going to go ahead and leave this to simmer for about 10 minutes and let that garlic cook up. So now that our water is starting to boil, I'm gonna take my egg noodles. And you can use any kind of pasta. I just, and I'm gonna cook it for nine minutes. I am going to take the Parmesan cheese and much like budget girl, I usually would use like actual Parmesan. We always have a wedge in the fridge to use for Italian food, but I'm oh, sorry. I'm nothing if I'm not flexible. So I'm gonna put this in here. Oops, I forgot one thing. Forgot to add the olive oil. Now, while I'm waiting for the pasta to cook, I'm gonna go ahead and get some of the lunch part ready. Okay, so now we're gonna use the broccoli. And I'm putting the frozen broccoli in here, giving myself more broccoli than Mauricio because I actually like broccoli. I'm gonna taste my pasta sauce again. It's actually not bad at all. And this is a different spoon. Okay, now I'm gonna check the noodles for doneness. That is a done noodle. Now, I have my noodles. I'm going to put some salt. And Parmesan cheese. And I'm gonna stir that up. Noodles. Now I'm going to eat all the pasta sauce. Oh, Mauricio will be getting two. I will be getting one. Okay, so then we put more pasta sauce over the chicken parm. And then the last thing we're gonna do is take our Italian style shredded cheese, which it's fancy shreds. I don't know what that means. We're gonna put that over the top so when it melts, it will melt all nice and pretty, and then I'm gonna put a lot less cheese on mine. So, I'm gonna taste this cheese to see what it tastes like. I'm done cooking, so. 
This is not real cheese. So we were doing well until we got to the cheese. Because the, the pasta, although these are egg noodles, and they don't taste like the, the egg noodles I buy at the grocery store. They taste like pasta, so they're fine. The chicken breast, I don't know. I'll let you know. I'll close it out, let you know how it tasted. This may be a day that we eat and then go out to lunch. Or it could be good. I think the pasta sauce will actually be good. We'll see. This is going in the trash because it was awful, awful. So I am going to tag Krista Marie because she's awesome and I think she'd do a really good job. Plus she can either force her boyfriend to eat it or not. That's her call. Um, oh, no, you, you can do what you did to me, like surprise. <laughs> I just didn't tell Mauricio apparently. Um, I also would like to tag life of a wannabe fit girl. Erin is super awesome. I don't know if they have dollar stores in Korea. If they do, then Erin, you should totally do this video. If not, dude, sorry. Well, I guess you can find some the equivalent of the of the dollar store. Like if I were in Mexico, I'll go to the Tianguis. Exactly. Yeah, so fun. Mauricio thinks you should just go to the equivalent of the dollar store. If we were in Colombia, they have the dollar store, but it's like the 33 cent store. So <laughs> it's the thousand peso store, which converts to like 33 cents right now, which by the way is awesome. And of course, finally, I am going to tag Ms. Frugal herself. I know she is going to do something amazing with this. I'm going to tag Amanda at the fundamental home because somehow I know whatever she makes is gonna be amazing. We are leaving work. Look at us carpooling together. Stop rolling your head, that's not funny. Anyway, so we ate our Dollar Tree challenge lunch today and it was surprisingly good. What? Before, what, what? I mean, what lunch today? The lunch you ate today with the noodles and the... Was that the dollar thing? Yeah. No way. <laughs> He's so pretty. <laughs> oh my God, I didn't know I thought I was like... I mean, it tasted like it had been in the fridge for like a year. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> it took like 20 minutes to microwave that. Like 20 minutes. It like did. It won't, it won't like warm up. And that is true. We did have to microwave it for like a good like eight minutes so to get I it hot. The, oh, I didn't know that. I was like, why are you giving me this with broccoli? <laughs> <laughs> I knew he were coming on the broccoli. So Mauricio, besides the heating up issue, what did you think of the food? Did it taste good? Did it? What? Why are you filming me? Was it good? Yes, it was. Okay, here is my take on it because I am a food snob. I will freely admit it. It was actually really good. Uh, the way we made it for lunch was... It worked. Um, I think if we had toasted the chicken patties in the oven, you know, cooked them in the oven rather than in the microwave, they would have been crispy on the outside and much better. Um, do not buy the cheese. The cheese was gross. However, once it was on there, because I committed to it, so um, once it was on there, I didn't actually really notice the cheese being bad. So it kind of blended in with the meal. That cheese was in the microwave for like eight minutes and it did not melt. That is true. I it wasn't cheap. it I wasn't did melt. not melt at all. I would not spend your money on the cheese, but it overall, the recipe was pretty good. The egg noodles did not taste like egg noodles that I know. They tasted like regular pasta and that was fine. And the broccoli tasted like frozen broccoli. So um, all in all, I would call it a recipe win. So I will put the menu in, or the menu. I'll put the recipe in the description box. Not that it really takes that much recipeing, but it um, it was bad, not bad at all. And if you want to make this recipe with your regular ingredients from your regular store, it's actually pretty frugal. So um, that's all I got for you today two videos so you can keep on watching this video stop. Here, this video
I'm gonna smack you. This video is Mauricio's head, and this video is his shoulder. What are you doing? See ya! I knew he was gonna do that. Boy, wow, I look awful after a work day. It's a wonder anybody comes into my office. So if you are new to my channel, make sure you click on my big laughing face to subscribe and I will put up two videos for you to keep on watching. This video up here is my latest video and this video right here is one that YouTube picked out just for you. So I'll see you in the next one. See ya!